What's up? I'm back. It's been two months, three months? How many months has it been? It's been three months. Three months since my last video. I'm so sorry. You know, quarantine has been weird. I started off with full intentions of like putting a video out every couple of weeks and uh, that's not what happened. Work's been crazy, I've just been tired. I don't know, I'm giving excuses, but you all know. Something I have been really trying to get better at is making work for myself. The nature of being a graphic designer is that, you know, you make work that other people want you to make and it's for them and it kind of is hard to go back to just making stuff for fun for me. So, so I've been doing a lot of that. I designed some greeting cards for people to send to their friends during quarantine. By the way, if you still want some of those, I can still print them and make them. That kept me busy. Been making a lot of just random stuff, trying out new things just for myself, um, trying to get better about posting my stuff on my Instagram, if you've seen that lately. So all that to say, it's been three months and they've been busy, but uh, I haven't, spending time on YouTube videos. So this weekend I said, I'm gonna make some new rebrand videos. Shot like half, over half of a rebrand video yesterday. I was feeling good about it. And then I had to cut it short cause I had to go uh, get dinner with my wife. And I came back to it yesterday and I was like, this is garbage. Wow. <laughs> was not happy with it at all and just decided to scrap the whole video. It happens sometimes. I know I need to get better about that and be more confident in myself, but y'all don't need to see that logo that I made. I tried to make, it was not good. So either way I decided, you know what? We're gonna move on. We're gonna make another video, different, different video completely. And that's okay. I'm gonna pretend that's okay with me. So I actually have a project that I need to work on anyway this weekend. And I thought this would be a good chance to just film that, show you that process. So a while back, I did a bunch of commission projects for pet portraits. I was asked to do a couple more pet portraits. So I'm gonna kind of show you the process of that today. Let's get started. So I'm actually doing three for her. But what we're gonna focus on today, I think is we're just gonna do Max the Yorkie. I figured just doing one of these is uh, plenty enough to show the process that I use. So whenever I make these, I actually use tracing paper and I print out the photo of the pet that they give me and trace it. So the goal here in Photoshop is to kind of clean up the photo a little bit so that the contrast is a lot better whenever I'm tracing so I can see it better really. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do here with the photo is go ahead and crop it just to make sure it's around um, eight and a half by 11 for whenever I print it out. One of the first things that I do here is I try to really roughly cut out the pet. So I, I just go up here to the object selection tool usually, and I will literally just kind of draw a box around the pet. And it should select it pretty well, especially for this. I think she took this photo in portrait mode on her iPhone. So it kind of already does that and blurs the background out. Um, I wanna make sure that I get some of those details around uh, Max's fur though. So what I'm gonna do is actually go up here to the select and mask tool. The thing I'm gonna do here is this top, this top uh, tool here is the quick selection tool. It kind of recognizes things. So if I see kind of the fur is out of the line there, it, it kind of picks that up and, um, and automatically adds it back in. And if you uh, hold the option key down, it actually changes to subtract those things out of the mask. So a good example here, let's go ahead and fill this in red and I'll turn this red up so you can see the actual mask. If I uh, take this and it has the plus button, I'm adding in something, right? So if I kind of scrub on the area that I like, it'll kind of pick out what's there. I'm turn my pass it down again so I can see. So I kind of roughly just run it around um, some of the stuff here and it should pick up, um, it should pick up everything at that. Cool. 
So, and like I said, I really just need this rough so that I can just have that contrast on the tracing paper, but I don't want it like super sharp edges. Um, so I'm gonna feather it out some so that I can kind of see the ends of the fur and stuff. Um, maybe turn the contrast up a little bit. So that's our mask. And so now we have the dancing ants around her, the selection there. I'm just gonna go down to the bottom here and hit the mask button. And it masks, max out. Mask, 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 max out. Mask, max out. So uh, Max the Yorkie is maxed out. Ugh, okay, so the next step is I'm going to actually add a couple of filters here on top of this. First one I like to do is black and white just to save some ink on my printer. And it also really just shows me the details that I need to see when I'm tracing. And then I add in the posterize filter. Posterize, what it does, you choose the level of colors that you want in the photo now. So it'll literally make shapes out of the amount of colors that you pick. So as I go up with the levels, there's more detail in there, right? Really what this does for me is it kind of turns the shadows and highlights into shapes for me so that I can draw around them. So I put it on level eight there and, and I think that's a pretty good place. The last um, filter that I'm gonna add here is the levels. And really all I'm gonna do is kind of play with the highlights and shadows until I feel like they're in a good place for me to be able to, to see it well. I also am gonna turn those blacks up a little bit so that I don't have just straight black ink on the page. It just, just makes the page wet, you know? Nobody likes a wet page. So from there, we're literally just gonna go print it. All right, so I've got my picture of Max printed out on my printer. I actually printed these on cardstock, mostly because I didn't know there was cardstock in the printer and it was an accident. All right, so now that I've got these printed out, I think we should go to a, another table that has a little bit more room than my desk. Come on, let's go. Finally, all set up here. It took me a minute because <laughs> so I had to figure out a way to get a better angle of this. So, if you want to know a good videographer hack, just tape your phone to a light stand with some packing tape and you're good to go. So anyway, I've uh, got our picture of Max here and place Max underneath one of the tracing sheets. I've, I've seen some people like tape each sheet down so that it doesn't move. I don't do that, probably just out of laziness, so. And we are going to start off with our micron pins. If you can see that, just a little micron. Micron pins are freaking awesome. They're, they're what I use, they're fine tip pins. They come in all different weights. You know, when I first started these um, and I only had like one or two orders, uh, I was doing everything in pencil first and then going over it with pen and it's just a pain. So I guess we'll just get started. Oh, hi, speaking of pets, because I see that Max the Yorkie, he has kind of longer hair on his face. Um, I'm gonna use longer strokes to make that look more like him. That's something, right? Sometimes some errors that I'll make, um, if they're not too bad, I can edit them in uh, Illustrator later. So, Illustrator later. That's my motto. Why put off today what you can Illustrator later? You know? I feel like Bob Ross. Do you guys feel like I'm like Bob Ross? Because that's how I feel right now. I just feel empowered. Max has some cute eyes. Tell you. I'm filming, just so you don't think I'm talking to myself. Okay, so now that I'm done with the drawing, I'm gonna use Adobe Scan to 
get a scan of this drawing. Like so. And then I'm going to flatten out the edges and the good thing about Adobe Scan is it applies lots of effects to the scan so that it gives it that contrast that I need and pulls out the individual strokes and I don't have to put it into like Lightroom and do that later. Okay, so now that we're done with the drawing and I got a scan of it, we're gonna put everything in Illustrator and finish her up. This is a pet portrait that I've already done. And just so that I keep all of the formatting the same, some of the colors the same, I'm, I opened this one up so that I can pretty much copy and paste uh, what I had done before. So we're gonna drag our scan in here and we're gonna blow it way up. The reason for this is we get better tracing results, more detailed tracing results this way. First thing we're gonna do is trace it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna stick with that. So now that it's traced, what we're gonna do is hit expand up here. When we hit expand, it turns it all into vector for us. So there's Max, he's looking pretty good. I've done pet portraits for this person before, so I want to make sure that the other pet portrait that I did before matches this one. So I'm actually gonna pull that one up. You can, I, I can tell I need to kind of move that up a little bit. So now what we need to do is look back at Max and see kind of what colors he is to soften it up and also to warm it up and kind of give it a vintage homey feel, I'll use a brown, a dark brown color instead of a, a black, almost to give it like a sepia feel. So now what we're gonna do is quickly, really roughly, um, make the shape of Max's head. So we're going to add in a little bit of color for him. So the font that I use on these is called Fairwater Script, and uh, it's free on Adobe fonts. And I'm gonna change it to that dark brown that we've been using on the outlines. What I'm gonna do is take it and roughen it. Yeah, something like that. And there's Max the Yorkie, y'all. I've probably done about 20 of these so far, and so I've pretty much got the process down, so I thought it'd be a good idea to just kind of share that with you guys um, so you can kind of see how to get a nice handmade look. If you would like to see more videos just about processes on uh, how I do just everyday designs, let me know. Maybe I won't mess up another rebrand video and can get one of those out soon. Again, sorry it's been so long, guys. Just thank you for supporting my art and supporting me. If you'd like a illustration of one of your pets, um, let me know. I'd love to do that for you. A little shameless self-promotion there. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, all that jazz. Yeah, I don't know how to end this. Uh, yeah. I haven't been like talking to people that much, so I don't know. From me and Max, we'll, we'll see you later. Thank you.